In a recent development, Baby Monster's latest track, Click Clack, has reportedly been barred from broadcast by KBS. The song, one of the double title tracks from their debut album Drip, has already made waves as a pre-release, hitting a staggering 10 million views on its music video within 24 hours. Despite this success, it now faces an unexpected hurdle in the broadcasting world. According to insiders, KBS's reviewing board deemed Click Clack unsuitable for broadcast, citing that it didn't meet the network's content standards. When a song is rated as such, artists are usually given the option to modify or remove the questionable parts before reapplying for approval. Whether Baby Monster will pursue these changes remains to be seen. The issue with Click Clack reportedly stems from its lyrics, which reference specific luxury brands like Ferrari and Cartier, content that violates Broadcasting Review Regulation Article 46, which restricts advertising effects in broadcasts. However, the remaining tracks from Drip, including its other title song, have successfully cleared KBS's screening process and are set for broadcast. Fans have expressed disappointment over the ruling, though KBS's restrictions aim to prevent potential legal issues for networks, as seen recently when SBS faced sanctions for a similar infraction. In an interesting twist, Blackpink's Jennie also faced a broadcasting ban on her new track, Mantra, adding to the debate over KBS's content policies. On BYOB Pocha, JYP Entertainment's founder JY Park shared how his once-ridiculed vision of bringing K-pop to the US became reality, with Stray Kids recently ranking just behind Taylor Swift in US album sales. During the show, Brian asked JY Park which JYP artists he considered the biggest in terms of profit and popularity. After some thought, Park named Twice and Stray Kids as the label's strongest acts. Who was the biggest for JYP? As far as profit? Uh, Twice and Stray Kids citing their record-breaking album sales and devoted fan bases worldwide. They're both at the top, he remarked, acknowledging their global influence. June Park added that he feels Twice currently has the edge, especially given their stadium tours and recent sellout at Los Angeles' Sophie Stadium. J.Y. Park agreed, praising Twice's powerful appeal. He also mentioned the rising popularity of rock band Day6, whose concerts have been selling out consistently, signaling their increasing traction in the industry. As the conversation continued, J.Y. Park highlighted that Stray Kids' popularity is also surging, with the group beginning to sell out large venues. With Twice, Stray Kids, and Day6 all making waves, JYP Entertainment's roster seems set to shape K-pop's future on an international scale. In an exciting announcement, BTS's Jin recently revealed plans for an exclusive fan event at South Korea's Latte World theme park. Scheduled for November 24, 2024, at 8am the fan sign will welcome 50 lucky fans who win a coveted spot. But that's not all, Jin plans to make the experience extra special by taking these fans on a memorable ride on the park's iconic merry-go-round. The Latte World merry-go-round, known for its romantic lighting, will set the stage for a truly magical interaction between Jin and his fans. Each fan will have the chance to chat with him for the duration of one turn on the ride, lasting several minutes, giving fans a rare and intimate experience. This unique setup promises to be unlike any other fan sign. News of the event sparked mixed reactions from fans, with some playfully expressing concern for Jin's well-being. With 50 back-to-back -back rides, Jin's dedication is apparent, but fans worry about the toll it could take on him. Despite this, fans are touched by his effort to create such a memorable experience, recalling his previous hug event as another example of his devotion. Fans have a week-long window, from November 11th to November 17th, to enter through Soundwave for a chance to join. Jin's commitment to connecting with his fans in fresh and fun ways is winning admiration across the board, he might just be one of the most dedicated idols out there.